Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin, be sure you turn off the power supply to your dishwasher. With the power off, your first step is to remove the screws securing the control panel and pull the panel off. Pull the moisture shield out of the way and squeeze the tabs to disconnect the ribbon wire. If applicable, disconnect the rinse aid sensor wire and set the control panel aside. Next, use a small flathead screwdriver to help disconnect the old thermal fuse from the circuit board. Remove the tape holding the wires together. Pull the first hand wire off of the door switch. Disconnect connector number two from the circuit board. Now use a paper clip to release the second tan wire from connector number two. Install the new thermal fuse by first connecting the provided wire harness to the fuse terminals. Next, insert the new fuse wire into connector number two until it snaps into place. And reattach the connector to the circuit board. Reconnect the other wire to the door switch. Attach the new thermal fuse to the circuit board and use a zip tie to hold the wires together. Reconnect the rinse aid sensor wire if necessary, as well as the ribbon wire. Move the moisture shield back into place. Carefully align the control panel and secure it with the screws. You're now ready to restore power to your dishwasher to make sure it's functioning properly.